Good morning. Welcome to Saturday Qigong. Uh, it's Saturday. We've been doing the elements earth. And today we're going to go over the metal element. And the metal element, if you think about metal, you know, metal comes in different forms. It can be dull or shiny. It can be liquid, liquid or solid. And it can be a conductor of electricity or energy. And so it's a really nice uh, element to practice and uh, encourage movement in your body. And that's what we'll be doing today. Uh, the metal element is associated with our lungs and our large intestine. And so today we're going to do a lot of exercises for the lungs and the large intestine. The season of life uh, for the metal element is the fall. And so, the, and that's a season of our agricultural system also. But the fall in, in, in Chinese medicine represents the harvest, the bounty. So lots of projects that you've been working on, they're coming to fruition. You're starting to see the rewards. So it's all about embracing your hard work and receiving the efforts that you've done. Um, the direction is the west, so we'll be honoring the setting sun, the setting moon. Uh, the color for the, is white, and so we'll be using the color white to infuse our lungs. And there's also, I know, three different sounds for the lungs. One of them is to balance emotional um, issues. Uh, one of them is for the circulatory and uh, respiratory system. And the other one is to let go of toxins. So it's a really interesting sound. So that will be our breath work today. The emotions associated with the metal element that we want to transform are grief and sadness, wishing things were different, lack of focus, lack of self-esteem, um, regret, and guilt. And so when we work with these, uh, trying to balance out the emotional components, we'll be bringing in accepting what is, we'll be bringing in courage and dignity to continue on through adversity, through challenges, and uh, also valuing ourselves. You know, the metal, we value metals, we value gold and silver and platinum. So we want to value ourselves and our gifts that are just as shiny. And I think that's about it, uh, there's, it's very deep and rich, the ele element theories, but uh, we'll cover a lot today. Oh, oh one more thing. The uh, tiger is the animal associated with el the element of metal. So we'll be doing tiger. That's really nice stretches. And we'll also be doing some butterfly to encourage transformation and manifestation. So uh, I'm going to stand up and we'll begin. my screen slightly, you'll be able to see my feet. And have your feet about shoulder distance apart, and let's start with a little wobble. Exhale through your mouth. Any extra energy needs to come out, any extra thoughts. Take your feet. Uh, Jesse? So a little... And then let's, and let's begin to ring the temple bell. Now, most bells are made of metal. And so gentle twisting from side to side, using your hands to send some vibrations into the body. Take a deep breath and let it out with the ah. Ah. Ah is the, one of the sounds for the lungs. So well, you feel free to say ah at any time. <sighs> and bring your hands up over as if you could touch your shoulder blades. And then let's bring the hands close to the lungs. Gentle tap, waking them up, nice deep breath. And then let's bring the hands down to the lower ribs, connecting with the 
kidneys in the back. Thank your kidneys in your mind. And in the front, we connect with the liver and spleen, pancreas, gallbladder, intestines. Tap your belly, tap right over your navel and right behind the navel and the spine. Tapping the Ming Men, the gate of life. And also stimulating your digestive organs. And then let your arms flop, do a little twist. Let's do three more each side. And good. Let's take our hands and make bird's beak and begin to tap. Let's tap with our thymus, that's the breastbone. The breastbone and the thymus are associated with our immune system. So we gently massage and stimulate and exhale through the mouth. And then bring the fingers up towards the lung area and tap all over. When we tap with bird's beak, we dispel toxins or old tired energy of the lungs. And let's say the word, or I'm sorry, let's um, say the word or the letter S. It's a hissing sound. and keeps hissing. And it's like a, I can only think of the word coco community, a, a, a steamer that is letting off steam. So we let go of wishing things were different. Let go of grief, sadness. One more, one more time. And then open your arms. Let's open the chest and stretch the lungs. It's kind of like the Rolls Royce symbol, that uh, hood ornament, and the stretches. Open your palms and stretch the fingers. This opens up the lung meridian. Make a nice deep breath. And then relax. And bring the arms in front and embrace tiger and place the hands on your chest. So embracing tiger. We know that tiger is the animal for the lungs. We embrace tiger. Embrace the health of our lungs. Embrace focusing like the tiger. And embrace getting through any challenges that come into our lives. Let's take a deep breath and rise up. And let's let the tiger come down to the mountain. So very slowly sink your body. Imagine your tiger paws. Relax your stomach. Relax your pelvic floor muscles. Relax your legs and let your body have a sinking sensation. Imagine your roots flowing into the earth. Soften. And today we're going to let our roots go to the center of the earth. It's believed that the center of the earth is molten metal. So we're going to connect to that metal energy of conducting electricity through our bodies, becoming shiny or dull. And if the metal gets scratched, we can polish it out and look brand new. And one more deep breath, having that sinking sensation, connecting to the heart of Mother Earth. Tuck your chin slightly and lift up towards the sun. Let the top of the head lift. Bottom half of your body is still heavy. Smile to your brain. And imagine the crown of the head opening. And take a deep breath in, connecting to Father Sky. And then smile to your heart. And breathe love into your heart. And imagine as you exhale, love flowing out of your heart. Sending love and healing out into the world. And breathe it deeply into your heart so the heart will pump it into your bloodstream. Good. 
Feel the energy flowing through your body. And then let the hands drop down. Palms are going to come up to the heart and inhale up to the heart. And then let's exhale and push down. This is called parting the earth. We get rid of the surface stuff. Reach into Mother Earth and draw her energy all the way up to your heart. And place that compassionate energy of Mother Earth into your belly. And again, inhale. And exhale. Push away, looking for the gold or the silver or the platinum. And then bringing the precious metals up into your body. And then we let them stay in the lower Dantian. Inhale up. And exhale. Push away the non-essentials, the distractions. If the gold really is what's valuable to you. And you breathe that in. Let's do three more. Thinking about what, what don't you need? As we use this time to transition and figure out how we're going to go forward in our lives. What are the things we don't want to carry anymore? What is really of value to us? Breathe it in deeply. Let's do one more. This time pushing away to the heart of Mother Earth. And reach down and pull the energy through your legs, through your core, into your heart, this time right up into your mind. And we'll exhale slowly into the lower Dantian and place the hands on the belly. Let's rub our hands together. This next exercise is for the lungs and it's a way to release emotions. If you have sadness, if you have regret or guilt or you're grieving, you know, some of us have lost friends in this time. And so we're gonna clap our hands. And this exercise begins by playing the accordion. Let's stretch the hands apart and breathe in. Imagine you're stretching your lungs. And exhale slow, compress. Make space for courage and dignity. Making space for accepting what is. Let's do three more as slowly as you can. Full deep breaths. Pause at the top. And then exhale slow and relax your whole body. As you inhale, receive fresh energy. Get into the lungs of the lungs.
and then bring the palms so they face the earth. And the movement goes out to the side. And then we bend the knees, we gather, pull up to the lungs, and then roll the hands so the palms face outward and downward. With the breath, inhale. And exhale. Looking a little bit for the emotions. Imagine your hands are like clouds in the sky. Let's gather any sadness or grief and we'll pull it up to the lungs and then the hand clouds rain they have tears and they let, we let go of sadness like the clouds let go of the teardrops inhale and release let go of regret and guilt And let go of wishing it was a different way. Let's do three more. And this time, bringing in dignity to the lungs. When we grief, we collapse and we protect our lungs. We want to bring dignity and courage to continue on in the face of adversity. And our tears bring the wonderful rain to Mother Earth. So we're healing Mother Earth as we let go of our tears. And let's do two more. Let's embrace Tiger. Embracing the challenges we're facing with the courage of the tiger, the strength of the tiger. Tigers are considered lucky, so with the luck of the tiger. And take a deep breath, breathing in, knowing everything's gonna be just fine. And say to yourself, I accept what is with courage, strength, and dignity. And then the tiger returns to the mountain. Bring one hand up to your lungs and the other hand over the navel. The sound, one of the sounds for balancing the emotions of the lungs is the sound ah. And we're going to say ah like we would say in om three times. Deep breath in. Ah. Ah. Thank your lungs and your large intestine. A little sound for balancing the emotions that we're all dealing with. And now place both hands. You can cross or not on the lungs. And when we make sounds, this creates vibrations inside of our organs. And I just learned this lovely sound and it's great for the respiratory system and also the lungs. And you can really feel them vibrating. And the sound is Z, like a Z. And you go Z. Let's do one more. Z.
And let's thank our lungs with a gentle tap. Thank your heart. Thank your breaths. Let's come down, tapping the ribs, thanking the liver and spleen. Go ahead, if you like to rub, that's good too. It's just, but we thank our organs. Thank your digestive organs. You can rub beneath your navel and thank your sexual organs, your elimination organs, your pat. Take a little knife edge and go ahead and tap where the legs meet the core and then pull up, a little lymphatic massage. Let's come to the kidneys. Nice deep breath, thank you, your kidneys. This is one of the best things you can do right now. And rub is sort of spreading our life force through the body. Rub your pelvis, rub your tailbone, rub your glutes. And then let's rub the tops of the legs and the sides of the legs, inside, and then the back of the legs. Rub your knees, your calves, rub your ankles, and then tap your feet all the way around. Thank you, feet and toes and arch. Tap all the way back up. Let's Sorry. Let's tap our throat, very easy. And then it comes down, stroke downwards, and thank your communication center. May your communication be soft and easy, like your touch. Let's tap the chin, and then fingers in as we come up the face. Thank your teeth and your gums, your lips, your tongue. Thank your nose, your sinuses. Thank your eyes, deep breath, notice what you see. Ooh, I like what I see today. Every day is different. Tap your eyebrows and your third eye. Your insight, breathe in, intuition, insight, inspiration. Thank your forehead. And then let's come up to the top of the head. Thank your brain, I wake up brain. Thank you brain. Tip your chin forward, tap your occiput. And then tap your neck. Let's rub our ears, find the top of your ear. Massage is so important, getting the blood and the chi flowing. Thank you, ears. And then let's give ourselves a tap over the shoulder. We are all, I just am astounded at the resiliency and inventiveness of humans. You know, we face big changes and what do we do? We adapt. So thank you body for adapting. Thank you mind for adapting. And sometimes we can even flourish with change. And then other side, nice deep breath. Coming down the arm, thank you body. Thank you, hand, little hand wash. And then coming up, thank you, lymph glands, mammary glands, and breasts. Give yourself a hug. Close your eyes and imagine your spirit hugging you. Your spirit loves you so much and has great compassion for you. And just accept this hug. Remind yourself that you love yourself very much. And very nice. Give yourself a little bounce. Wobble your head. Wobble your shoulders. Shake your arms and wrists. We all know how beneficial shaking is. Shake your tail. Shake your feet and legs. And we're going to begin to move away from our human. And we'll start with tiger. So think about your tiger body. You have big paws. So the feet, the hands are all paws. We 
we're, we have claws. So go ahead and test out your claws. Inhale and grab. Just test them out. Test them out. This is nice for the hands. And then flick. Flick your claws as if you have a little piece of fur in them. And claw. Sometimes we, you know, I look, I have a cat. So cat fight is a good way to get energy out. Let's do a little hissing. If you're mad at anybody, anything, just scratch it away. Make a sound. You can growl. Oh, but then kitties forget about it. So they flick it away. And then they give themselves a little bath. This is called the Chinese neck lift. You just take your hand underneath, rubbing the neck, giving yourself a bath, and then with the other paw. And then good. And think about your tail. Go ahead and wobble your tail. Kitty tails aren't like dog tails, you know, they kind of have a mind of their own. So just let your hips flow. Yeah, tigers are epitome of uh, yin and yang. They're hard and soft. You know, they have fur, but they've got teeth and claws. They've got the heart of the tiger, so they can be ferocious. So sometimes I like to bring in the tiger energy for ferocity. And tigers are very focused. And let's bring in the spirit of the tiger. And we'll do this by gathering energy three times. So let's bring in that focus and intensity of the tiger. And tigers are light on their feet. They land on their feet. So we're all going to land on our feet. And tigers like to purr and take sun baths and take care of themselves. They're very good at self-care. So we bring that energy in too. Let's inhale up to the heart. So we bathe our heart with the energy of the tiger. And then the mind of the tiger. And then the spirit of the tiger is all around us. Rub your paws together. One little clap. And this is called sleepy tiger. And this exercise, I think all of you know it, we yawn. And so we open, squeeze your shoulder blades together. See if you can get a yawn. <sighs> and then pull your shoulder blades apart. Stretch the back of your, lung, your lungs. Inhale, open. And exhale. <sighs> Let's do one more. <sighs> and this time, right paw up to the sky, left paw down. Arch, look up, and exhale. Tuck your pelvis in, tuck your chin slightly. Other side, inhale, yawn, and exhale. Inhale. Last one, big yawn. Don't you know, feel free to yawn extra if your body wants to yawn. Make a fist with your right hand and place your cheek into the fist and place your other hand on your thigh. Close your eyes for a moment. Let yourself drift. Oh, don't stifle any yawns. Oh. And then let's wake up. I'll do that again. Inhale. <sighs> One more out to the side. <sighs> Something very satisfying about a big yawn. And then one paw up, one paw down, big stretch. <sighs> Oh. 
<sighs> One more time, each side, lazy, yawning. Oh. Oh. Left fist into your cheek. Close your eyes. Imagine your tail flicking around behind you. Little cat nap. And very nice. And we're going to walk like a tiger. So I'm gonna back up a little. Well, I'll show it to you first and how the tiger walks. You know, kind of a flat back if you want or a little bit, but the tiger walks very gingerly. One hand paw down, the other hand behind me paw up. And I'm going to lift my foot up and place. And then slowly, other side, lift and place so it's like it looks like a hunting tiger a little balance exercise focus on what's really important bring it in and you can walk it forward or you can walk in place and then sometimes the cats, like the dogs, will hold a foot up, see if you can balance. And then continue. Let's do three more each side. Inhale. And exhale as you transition. What is your prey? What are you hunting for? Last one each side. Using your claws, claws engaged, let's come up. This is called pouncing tiger. And we arch up, we reach up, and then we reach in front of us all the way down as we're pouncing. And then we bring the prey, what we pounced on, up to our mouths. Inhale up and exhale. As you inhale, pull the energy through your body, the energy that nurtures you, feeds you. A little arch and fold. And if you want, you can add a little hop or a little jump as you come up and then hop, pounce, mm. pounce, a little agility, pounce, and let's do three more, however you want to do it. This is the arch and fold. Bouncing for what you want. Bring it up to the mouth. Make a ball of saliva in your mouth. And then swallow. Mm, and relax. Feet about hip distance apart. Drinking the tiger's blood. We bring energy into the paws. And this time the, the paws will be soft. So no claws, just paws. Soften your pelvic floor muscle. And energy out. So energy flowing out of your palms. Stress is fine to take a deep breath and say, ah, ah. And let's give it to Mother Earth. Scan your body. Where can you soften? And 
and then raise your paws so they face out. And the energy is flowing out. So maybe if you have emotional distress right now, that's leaving your heart or thoughts that are darker, let them go. And it takes a deep breath in. And let's switch the focus, energy out. Let's send love and healing into the world. If you know people who are sick or who are depressed or having big challenges, breathe love into your heart. And imagine it flowing out of your hands, like a wave of healing energy flowing right to the people who need it the most. Draw in from the heart of Mother Earth. Pull the energy from your feet and into the heart. And then out through the hands. Now reach out and we make a twisting motion and make a fist. And now gather that ferocity of the tiger, strength, courage of the tiger. Make a ball of saliva, blood of the tiger, and let's drink it. This time, claw hands, claw paws, energy out, claw feet. So there's a little tightening, a little tension. Take a deep breath and then soften, energy out. Make claw hands. And think of something that you want. What's a goal or a dream? Smile it into your brain. Imagine sending it out, lighting it up, wherever, whatever your goal or your dream or your prayer is, we're lighting it up. And let's reach out and grasp the dream, grasp the prayer, bring it in, make fist. And then all the way around, the fingertips touch the waist, paws up, make a little ball of saliva and drink. Pause down. Soften. Now reverse the energy. Absorb the energy like you're a magnet. Soften. Notice pelvic floor softening, belly softening, shoulders, neck, head. Nice deep breath here, bring it in. Think of the vitamins and minerals of Mother Earth, the water. And then pause out, gentle, no claws, and absorb the energy of Mother Nature. Draw in the wisdom of the whales, the dreams of the bear. your favorite animals. Let's draw in that focus, strength, dignity, and luck of the tiger. And then reach out, grasp it. Bring it to the kidneys. Bring it through and up. Make a ball of saliva. Drink the tiger's blood. And this time, make tiger claws and Tighten the pelvic floor muscles, pulling energy up and in. A little tension. And then pause out and drawing energy. What do you want to attract? What are you bringing in? This is the time to think about that. One more deep breath and reach out and grab it. Make a little fist and then behind, touch your waistline. Inhale, make fall of saliva and exhale. Tiger returns to the mountain. One more time, embracing tiger, deep breath in and return to the mountain. 
and then give your body a little shake. We're gonna shake out the tiger. And we're gonna transition into a transformational exercise, which is butterfly. And the butterfly starts off as a caterpillar. And if you think about the caterpillar, they kind of, you know, they're like little worms. They, you know, straighten, come up, straighten, you know, come up. That's how they move. And then they find some milkweed, or at least around here, we have the monarchs. And they eat to their heart's content. And then they build their cocoon. And then they are dormant. They dissolve. The, the caterpillar body dissolves into this primordial soup. And it dreams as it gestates into something else. It transforms into a butterfly it's still in the cocoon. And then we're going to pump our, our life force into our wings. We're going to come out of the cocoon, drink the nectar, and we're going to fly as a transformed being. So we can leave our past behind, our old things that don't serve us, we can dissolve into it and uh, become this beautiful butterfly. So let's bring the feet together and lengthen your tail. Tuck the chin, feel the length of your spine as we become the caterpillar and butterfly. Let's reach out for the energy of transformation and bring that into the lower dantian. The energy of rebirth and renewal. And finding value in ourselves, believing in ourselves, believing in our inner beauty. Let's bathe the heart and the mind with an inhale. And exhale. Bring the hands to about the head and lift the shoulders up and curl your fingers and then draw inwards. And then lower the hands down, lead with the top of the head, become long. Tuck your chin. And then let's inhale. Imagine we're caterpillars climbing up the milkweed stalk and then stretch. Find more space in between your vertebra. Nice squeeze for the shoulders and neck, and then lengthen, push down. Let's do three more. Caterpillar may not know that it's going to transform. Nice space between the vertebra. And let's lengthen the spine as much as you can. Take a deep breath, breathing from your tail to the top of the head. And then relax your body. Let's do one full deep breath, breathing into the belly and bringing the, a wave of fresh air up into the brain. And then let it roll down. And smile to your caterpillar. And sink into your feet, fingertips heavy. We're going to pull silk out of the cocoon. Inhale, up to about the lungs. And exhale, sink. Follow your breath. Imagine silken threads on each of the fingertips. You don't want to break them. Rising up towards the neck. Exhale and sink. So you can even get a sensation of energy rising and sinking here. We'll do three more pulling silk out of the cocoon.
and place your left hand over lower Dantian, followed by the right. Close your eyes and smile to yourself. You're safe in your cocoon. Scan your body. Where can you relax? Start with the top of your head. Feel the sensation of softening through your eyes and cheekbones. Jaw. Soften your neck and shoulders. Take a nice deep breath. Soften the shoulder blades, the chest, the ribs. Soften the belly. And release the pelvic floor muscles. Soften the legs. And for the next minute, I'm going to be quiet. And I invite you to imagine you're dissolving, letting go. And take a deep breath and soften. Bring the hands like an embraced tiger, but the wrists are right over the, the heart. Sensing your new body in the cocoon, ready to emerge. Let's Pump a little life force into our wings, make fists, and squeeze, and then release. Squeeze the fists, squeeze the biceps, the triceps, and then release. Let's add the belly, squeeze the belly, release. Let's pull up and in on the pelvic floor, cacal muscles, sphincter, squeeze, and release. Curl your toes and grab the floor, squeezing the legs, releasing. Make a prune face and squeeze, whole body squeeze and release. And let's do three more. We're pumping life force into our wings, into our bodies, into our brains, squeeze. And this time, let's squeeze and hold. Squeeze it into your antenna. And then release, take a deep breath, open the eyes if they're closed, and we're going to emerge from the cocoon. Now this is the leap of faith for the monarchs. The monarchs come out through the bottom. So the cocoon opens, and there's a <sighs> and then the wings go up. There's a forward bend. Stretch the fingers to the sky. Smile to Mother Earth. And imagine you're drinking in the nectar of the first flower that you kissed. Reach the fingers up. Let's take one more breath here. Drinking in the nectar. And as you come up, cross your wings in front of you. And now let's dry our wings. So we inhale. Squeezing like we began. And then as you exhale, bring the back of the hands together. Inhale, dry your wings. Breathing in to your new body, the new you. Let's do three more, drying the wings.
breathing in your beauty, your transformation. Last one. Cross your wrists and then palms face your body. Let your thumbs touch. Butterfly. And begin to fly. Watch your palms. You're seeing Earth from the first time and seeing your human body. This is from the first time, other way. Bathing yourself with the energy of transformation. And then separate the hands, two butterflies. Changing the energy around your body. A little shaking of the hands. From down one arm, down the other arm, and down through your core organs to the kidneys. I know you've all heard that expression when a butterfly beats her wings, it's felt in Tibet. So spreading fresh energy all into our energy field. And then let's cross the wrists, thumbs touch, fluttering to your heart, breathing in the energy of rebirth and renewal. You're a beautiful butterfly. And then let's bring the butterfly up and open. Oh, there's just a fun little one we can do right here. Thank your inner butterfly for emerging from the cocoon. And stretch from the shoulders out. This is called peacock. And peacocks <laughs> think they're beautiful. You know, think of the, the male peacock with his feathers. And then he turns and he's like, who's admiring me? And breathe it in. Breathe in your beauty. Show the world how beautiful you are. Like a beautiful peacock. Bring your feathers up and bring them down as if they're, and then let's shiver, quiver, as if we had little fleas in our feathers. You have, or the male is rearranging his feathers. So, little jerky shimmies. And then bring your feathers down into a swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. A male peacock has to walk with his train behind him, train of feathers. Nice, easy for the hips. Let's do three more each side. And very nice. And we'll let go of the butterfly and the peacock for now. And we're going to come back into the element and the symbolism of, the, of metal. And in Chinese medicine, as I mentioned, uh, it's the fall, it's the sunset. So imagine you're facing west, watching either the setting moon or the setting sun the end of the day, and we're going to end today with marrow washing, bringing in the energy of the West. And we gather all the riches and the rewards of our hard work, and we bathe ourselves. Take your time. A life well lived, a job well done, a project completed, maybe money's coming in, you know, that's metal, the coins of gold and silver, bathing yourself with riches. Vendors, enjoying life. And this time, let's reach for that color white and let white come into the mind into the lungs, take a deep breath here, filling your lungs with white, and then continuing down your body. Bathing the brain, the lungs, the heart, all your core organs, the color white. Bathe your joints your neck, your spine and shoulders, elbows, wrists, hips, knees and ankles.
And let's do three more. Bathing yourself with love, believing in yourself, knowing that you are of value, your gifts. Breathing in, accepting what is with courage, and strength, and dignity. This time bathing the marrow of our bones. Embrace Tiger one last time today. Placing the hands over the lungs. Thank your inner tiger. Thank your body. And thank your ability to transform and change your inner butterfly. Thank your emotions and your thoughts. May they be compassionate and peaceful. Thank your mind for being creative. Thank your spirit for always loving you. And let's come up as we open, parting the clouds, pushing away grief or sorrow. Breathing in the sunlight, breathe it right into the lungs last time. And sending that energy of acceptance through your body, right to the heart of Mother Earth. And then bring your hands in front of your heart and namaste, bring your feet together and give yourself a little bow for coming to class today and practicing. <laughs>